one of the very powerful, a little bit astonishing, and definitely incomprehensible in the voice of Lassad Lavi, prophecy is that at the time that Mashiach will come, we will tell the Ebesha, thank you Hashem for what? Kiyonafta, that you were angry with me, that you gave me all these, these Surim of Golas. Yoshev Abchos Nachmeni. Now your anger has ceased and you um, and you have comforted me by bringing all the good. So there's a number of different explanations and shot exactly what this means, but the basic explanation the Foshim say is that I'm thanking you that you will thank the Abisha for going through the suffering of Golos because we will realize that this was that through the Golos the sins were forgiven, and now we're able to have the uh, the the the, 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 gula, the coming of Mashiach. Uh, there's a number of points here. There's a number of sikhs that everybody probably knows. But before we get to that, I just want to discuss a few things over here. The Gemara Masech Tanida brings this pasuk. The Gemara brings explains this pasuk with a marshal. The Gemara says there were two merchants that were going overseas to do business. They were waiting for the ship to go do business. One guy was as he's about to, on the road, almost getting to the ship. He gets a splinter in his foot, and he misses the ship. He misses the boat, and he starts mechada from the god. He starts cursing everyone and anyone, <laughs> you know. He loses it. He's so upset that he missed the boat. He has this huge business deal that he's planning on making, and now it's all garnished. Anyway, a while later comes the comes the bad news that the ship sunk. So he says, now he starts thanking the Ebesha. The Ebesha saved him by giving him the splinter. So he says, that's the Taish. Eid Hashem be. This guy thanked Ebesha that what he thought was just a, you know, an aggravating event really was good for him. It saved his life. The similar medrash that Samach Tzadik brings in, in, in Vayikra, that when the Tzadikim will see loss of love, the suffering of you know, the Rishayim, they'll thank the Ebishter for giving them the suffering in this world like this, that they don't have to suffer in the world to come. They merit their Elam Haba. Now, there's a few points. One, one, one very powerful point that there is, is that we're not just saying that we're thanking the Ebishter, you know, when Mashiach will come, say, yeah, we thank you that, you know, now we had Golas and we appreciate that Golas took away our sin and now we're able to have the Gola. But the meaning of the Pasuk is much de- is deeper than that. The meaning of the Pasuk is that we're going to realize that the only way, or let's put it this way, there's two ways of putting it, but the only way we're able to have such a gula is through the Yisurim that we went through. Or to put it the other way around, the gula will be so great and so and so blissful and, so, and, 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 and 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 such a great level of, of pleasure and bliss. That we will, at that point, we will ourselves say that it was worth going through the whole goddess just for this. I can't understand it now, but that's what we're, we're promised is going to happen. So the Rebbe, the, the, the Rebbe said, wrote this, this famous letter that the Rebbe wrote, he wrote unto the president of Israel, why he's explaining to him why he can't. It's a very powerful letter for a few reasons. But he explains why he's not calling him a Nasi. You know, in Israel, the title for the president was a Nasi. The Rebbe was very careful to use the title president. The Rebbe says, from the, from the, as a child, even before going to Cheder, he was thinking about the Gula's very important words. Or he was thinking about the, how great the Gula will be. That will be in such a way that it will atone for, and it will be worthwhile to have such a Gula. Yeah, all the, all the, all the, huh? He started viewing in his mind the picture of the future redemption will be in such a way. That will be worthwhile. That Eden will say that Oyd Hashem it was worthwhile going through all the Surim of Galus just to be able to reach this point. So, and, and, and who's going to be on, 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 on running the whole show? There'll be such a high Nasi, there'll be Mashiach himself, which will be directly under the Ebishter. So the Rebbe basically is implying that the state of Israel no way <laughs> could justify <laughs> all the suffering the Jewish people. Nishra Adam, Abidin, Abidin, Zich, Yishmach, Ningalas, that they should have... 
Huh? Yeah, yeah. And I'm saying the Rebbe, I'm saying there's two points. The Rebbe was focusing on the Nasi, but it's implicit in the letter. The Rebbe is saying that the Gula, the the Kvayochel, the Gula from Medina Yisrael, Nishtaf Dem Ab Nidin Mois Gat Ali Yisuru from God. This is what we weren't hoping for for two thousand years, by no stretch of the imagination. So therefore, obviously, that Mashiach was supposed to be the Nasi is not going to use that term for the president. But it's a very powerful thing. And the part here is that. Whatever the beard is, but in other words, the point over here is that when we're going to thank the Abishar for the Golos, that implies that the that the Giloi, the time of the, the the revelations of the Gula will be so great that we will say that it's that we will then understand and accept and Oitcha will thank the Abishar for the Surah of Golos. We can't understand them, but that's that's what that, that's what we are told. On a similar vein, the Maral, in the beginning of Netzach, I didn't get a chance to look at it before I came. So in the beginning of Netzach Yisrael, he says that to understand the Hafla of the Gula, how great the Gula will be, we could understand from the opposite extreme. He says there's no, there's, there's, in, it's, there's no way to describe all the suffering Eden went through in Gauls. Right? The history of the Jewish people is impossible to put down on paper all the suffering that collectively the Jewish people had throughout Gauls. So he says the same way the Surim of Golos was beyond description, beyond comprehension, this is a Raya Kvayachal that says, in other words, that obviously the Gula, which comes as a result of the Golos, will also be beyond comprehension. I mean, I mean it, 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 has to be, it has to be equal balance. This is what we went through. This means that the Gula have to be on a so much greater level. So this is this is a, 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 a very powerful thought that you th- when, when we realize, in other words, Obviously, it doesn't justify Golas, but it gives us the, the, the it brings out the toiv of Gula that we will. The Rebbe said then, when the Rebbe said a number of times, when Mashiach will come, at that point will be miscabal by us. We'll understand it, we'll accept it, and we'll thank the Ebrister. Now it's not shy, but then we will thank the Ebrister. Now there's another. There's an, the, the, then there's the word apichsidus. Word apichsidus is 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 obviously based on the, on the simple pshat, but chsidus obviously explains it according to chsidus. The Rebbe says this in the Mekut Yitayra, Parashas Tzav, the Madibra Mas, Chushesh Yisrael Mtech HaMatis, you know, there's the Maim Odeman, Kriya Siamsov, and Kriya Kriya Sanor, that is at the end of Parashas Tzav, Hei Nefiyot Eil Anor, those Maim Odeman that are learned usually in Shri Yisrael Pesach. But before that, there's a Maim Chushesh Yisrael Mtech HaMatis. The Rebbe also speaks a little bit about that. The Rebbe says, he says a word over there, this Pasuk in Yisrael, this Pasuk in the beginning of Yishayi, Kapitel Yud Beis, Right, and then the next pasuk everyone knows. We say we have the Allah, Hine Kol Shiyosi Yeftach Mali Yefchad. Right, but before that, Kapitel Yudalif. What's what's the what, what are the psukim that are directly leading up to this pasuk of Oit Chashem Ki Anafta? Beats the psukim speaking about the splitting of the river when Mashiach will come, which I discussed Pesach time. So this explains that it speaks about that this refers to the great revelation that will happen. So that the Alt Rebbe explains when Mashiach will come, we'll see. That Hashem after be what caused the great revelations after the Surah of Golos. We will then come when, in other words, at this point we don't have the great revelations yet. Maybe we have some type of taste in some very minute way. But when we will see the revelations, it will make sense to us that it was worth the Golos to have this. Now Chassidus takes this point. Obviously, there's there's the simple thing of an after as Golos, but Chassidus also explains the idea of Ridul Atzei that what. That an after be could also an after be also means is the avoda that a yid that it's dafka the avoda that a yid serves the ebishter. It's not just the surim of Golos itself. It also brings the great elite, but it's the avoda dafka in the, in, the, in the height of the surim of Golos that brings out the highest level. So then we'll thank the ebishter here. An after be an after be not only reply, applies to the actual surim of Golos, but an after be applies to the avoda that's connected with an after be. Or more particularly, the avoid of tshuva, which is the which is the avoid that comes from the halam, the avoid of erchoiser. So this avoid is going to lead to the greatest. We're going to realize that it was the avoid that we served Abish in the hardest time. This is what brought about the greatest schooling of Mashiach. And this the Rebbe brings a very powerful, practical light off for this. And Shmini Tavshin and Aleph, the Rebbe says that Yid could say Gula is bleak vul, right? It's unlimited. What am I? I'm very limited. I have very limited time, limited brain space, limited energy. How could I do something that will bring Mashiach? So the Rebbe says, no, this is what the Pasuk is telling us. As dafka da avoid in the way of a nafta, avoid where a person is stuck and limited, and nevertheless he serves Debesh, this is what's going to bring the good. That's the Oyd Hashem Kiyon after me. It's very powerful, Hayra. 
So this is this is the way Chassidus explains the process that we will see then that Kiyonav to be that it was the Avoida that was done. It was the Yisurim of Golis and Avoida that was done in Golis that brings Mashiach. Okay, so these are basically, again, just to recap, these are basically the Nikudas that the Gula will be so great, we'll say Golis was worthwhile. We'll see how Davka the Yisurim of Golis brought to the Gula. That's the Eid HaShem Kiyonav to be. We'll realize that Davka through... Going through what, what like the Rebbe, what I will speak maybe hopefully later, the Rebbe said that it doesn't make sense why we have to go through, why it has to be Surim to bring Mashiach, but obviously they, that's, if they wish did that, there must be a reason. Well, Mashiach will come to understand the reason. Now, yeah, fine. Again, I'm not saying that. No, no, had there been a reason, the Yid wouldn't be able to scream at Masay yeah. Metanemus. But there is a reason. The whole point is there is a reason, but we don't know it, so in order we should be able to scream at Masay. Yeah. Uh, but the Seisa says, yeah, no, yeah, but, but now, but the, the, but the right, right, and, and, until the, until, until Mashiach yeah. comes, there's no way of understanding yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now, just one more before we get to all those interesting things. There's, there's another point. It's very, very, uh, something I, 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 this is, like I mentioned before, this Nabu is incomprehensible now. And I told you before, make some sense, and we'll realize how the Yisurim were worth it. But then there's, there's another word that I've explained. There's really two ways of understanding Pshat and this whole thing. We're thanking Debeshev for Yisurim of Golos, right? So what does that mean? So let's say, let's go back to the story of the Gemara of the Seicher that's sitting there by, the, by, 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 you know, he's stuck, he lost his train, he lost his, he missed his boat because he got a splinter stuck in his foot. The fact that he got the splinter, was that good? No. He didn't get any direct benefit. No one will say that he got the splinter in his foot, so through that, face, he gained. No. It was something, in it, it in itself was negative. Just a letter, something good, right? So that's similar to what the Rebbe speaks many times, that there's two levels of when we say, Gamzul Teva and Koma, Nachum Mishkam, the Rebbe Kiva. Kiva also said whatever the Ebisha does is for good. The story of Nachum Mishkam, that everyone knows, he took the chest of stone, of gold, diamonds, and whatever, and it was exchanged for earth. And he said, this is also for the good. And first the king wanted to kill him, but then the, the, his advisor tells him that this earth this might be the earth that Avram Avinu used that miraculously was turned into spears and swords, and he used them in attack of work. So at that story, the fact that they changed, exchanged the diamonds and the gold and the silver for, for, for earth, that was, that, that, that was good, because like the Rebbe says, who knows if the, if the Caesar in Rome would have even accepted the present of gold and diamonds that he was no missing. No doubt later it was good. Yeah, but what was good? What was good? The etsem thing that looked bad, the actual thing that looked bad, that itself turned good. Good, but, but look at the story. But look at the story. The, in the sto- like yeah, but you see in this good at the time that at the time that the king was upset, only Nochamish Gamzu saw it that way. But 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 what the point is that what type of and when the when the bad the was transformed to good, is, the real in other words, at the end of the day, after the story was over, everyone thing. was able to see that what that wasn't just Pshat, that the bad led to something good, but the bad itself was good. At the end of the day. Nochem Shkams was sought right away. We saw it later. The Maestro Rabbi Akiva, and he stayed in the forest, and he had a candle, and a donkey, and a rooster, and then the lion ate the donkey. And one second, and the cat ate up the ate up the ate up the rooster, and the wind lashed out the candle. The fact that he lost the candle, his donkey, and his rooster, that wasn't good. It led. It wasn't that that itself. This led that they did, the robbers didn't notice him. So the so in other words, there was like a person say, I lost the nickel, so I got a million dollars. The fact that you lost the nickel, it wasn't an investment. You invested a nickel to get him in that. You lost the nickel. Through that, you got something, but that itself was something negative. So the Rebbe explains... But he's pointing out that it's true. The what? The Nachmish Zoo is a derech. That's what he went through. Go a little different. Fine, obviously it was a derech, but, but what do you see? That, in other words, yeah, you see that in his derech, with pale mamish, he saw it that way, but what, so what did he, through his derech, what did he bring about? That we that the poil mamish kolo ilum kula was able to see that the thing turned out good. He didn't see it, but he good, good. But did you see how the Yisurim were good? For... Also didn't see it then. That's but no, that's not the word. That's not the word. Zusha from Ani Poli, you don't see how you see his Yisurim. Hotnish King Gelt, Hotnish. You don't see how it's good. He doesn't see it as Yisurim. He's not shot that the Yisurim are not happy to There's no Yisurim here. There's no Yisurim. That's not that's not what Nachemish said. Nachemish Gamzu didn't say there's no Yisurim. Nachemish Gamzu said this happened, but this is for good. 
It's a totally different vart. It's a totally different vart. Anyway, b'chol leifin. So the Rebbe says in the word of word. Man, and so this spot on our horse this is a very fundamental in the person's life that sometimes he goes through very painful There's episodes. No and then he sees, I'm fine, I'm not getting into, I'm saying in the, in the person's life is a very practical thing. A person goes through painful episodes and later he sees how eventually because of whatever happened, later he, he gained very great, whatever it is, in any aspect of life. But that itself, would he ever say, oh, it was well, like the Fidik Rebbe said, right? He wouldn't have given any money in the world to go through the Yisurim he went through in prison. But once he got it, he would never, wouldn't, he wouldn't sell it for any money in the world. You understand? He wasn't. In other words, it's, it, once you get it, it's, you realize it leads to good things. But then there's something, some, something that it appeared to you that it was bad, and then it was in Scala that B'chal wasn't true that it really was good. It's a much higher level. So it Hashem Kiyonaftabi doesn't only mean until now we're saying that what that you're gonna recognize that through the Surah of Golos, this itself led, in other words, it was taka painful, whatever, but no, no pain, no gain. Through you see that through the pain you get the thing. But the Rebbe says much the Rebbe says emphasizes many times that what that's not the ultimate shot of Eid Hashem Kiyonaftabi. Then the the anafta itself, the fact, the negative thing itself will be turned to good. How can we understand that? I don't know. The Rebbe gives one muscle for one thing. He brings actually interesting muscle. The Rebbe discusses how we can understand on the Churban Beis Hamikdash. The Churban the second Beis Hamikdash was a good thing. Right? We all know the famous thing. The Rebbe said many times the destruction of the second Beis Hamikdash was for what? For to bring the third Beis Hamikdash. But the Rebbe says a muscle. The Rebbe says that so to take a Polish chas, a turn interesting muscle. Take a Polish chas, a turn him a chabad chasid. Is harder than taking someone's bechan or chasid and turning him into a chabad chasid. Like a Polish chasid, he knows concepts of chasidus, but he has it in his way of understanding. So you have to take away one sort of one form, and you have to create another form. Someone that has no form, taking something, taking something raw that never he never learned chasidus before, and shaping it to, to chasidus chabad is not as difficult as taking someone that already has a preconceived understanding of what these things mean, but he understands it in a totally different way. So the Rebbe says the second Beis Hamikdash had a tzir, it had a tzura. You know, it was a certain revelation of godliness that was in a certain way. The third Beis Hamikdash will be a totally different thing. So the only way you could have the second, the third Beis Hamikdash is by destroying the second Beis Hamikdash. You have to take away whatever. That was one marshal, whatever. But now, now in this thing, there, there, there's, there's two Misham Chassidus does give, even though. I don't think it helps us understand the Gashmi so much, but there's two things Chassidus says. One thing Chassidus says, really it's a mocker in the words from the Magid. He says, he says, when a father slaps his son and the son cries, it's more a deeper ava to the father than before he hit his son. Besides the fact that the fact that he hit his son, which we'll soon speak about, is also coming from love. But it's dafka, the, 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 the love that comes after, after thus is even greater. Okay, but that, but that is again, it's a negative thing, but it leads, it leads to greater ava. But then there's other thing the Magid said. It's that has been signed to always in the Rishimus of the Samach Tzedek. When a father hits his son, there's a greater ava. I'm not allowed to speak about that today, but at least, you know, being a son is abuse. When the father punishes his son, the punishment is even a deeper ava. Then when he gives his son, he does his son chesed. Why? Because the ava to a son that's revealed in a regular case, okay, a person loves his son, he helps him, he gives him. He has to punish his son. It's not something he would do so easily. It's, it's a, it comes from a deeper connection, the father to the son. Elamai. What's the problem? The problem is the way it's revealed is revealed in a very negative way. But when the negative, when the lavush, when the garment, when the shell is broken and able to so to say, take away the external shell and you see what's, what's in this punishment is the greatest ava that there could be. So this is the way the Samach Tzedek explains the Pasuk, Bafakti Evlam Lusas, and I will, I will transform their mourning into joy. It doesn't say that they won't stop mourning. It say I'll, the mourning, the mourning, the evil, the negative thing will be transformed to joy because you'll see how in the evil was taka tachlus achesed. So in other words, I don't know how, how we could appreciate that we'll see that a negative thing that happened, that itself was good. Again, as manas, I don't think we could appreciate that. I'll soon, I'll soon say something else. But Baruchnis, we could understand that there's such a concept that in something negative, it's the levush is negative. The garment, the way the expression is negative. But what's hidden in that is something. So the Rebbe says, 
Rabbi Yisrael, I saw a sikha that Rabbi spoke, and anyway, a few sikha that Rabbi spoke very powerfully about this, but I just want to show the kids in Nimrits. First of all, the Rabbi explained this. The Rabbi says, the fact that the, that the negative thing itself should be transformed to good, the Rabbi uses a lashon that's bitul monogi shalalam. That's a supernatural thing. The fact that you you could appreciate, I mean, the Rabbi doesn't say this, but I guess you could, the fact you could appreciate that the Golas was worthwhile, the Yisurim of Golas, whatever, but the Rebbe says that tran- the, the transformation, the negative thing itself to good, like Zainas Nasu Kazachis, I don't have time to get into that. That is a sh- that that's going to happen in the second period because that Shinim Minogi Shalom. It's, it's that the negative thing itself, we should look in positive light, is not something. I, I mean, I guess not something good to fully comprehend now also. Uh, the Rebbe spoke a few times a very strong sikhs about the Zayd Hashem can after be. The Rebbe was speaking in Shani Rabbi Memdal, is the most famous, and the Rebbe was crying. Then why does it have to be Golos? The Rebbe says, I, we know that when Mashiach will come, we'll say, Yoyit Hashem can have to be. So there must be a reason for Golos. But the Ebesha doesn't want us to know the reason, because the wants us to scream at Masay with the Nemes. And the Rebbe said, the very one, even then, we're going to say, Yoyit Hashem can have to be. It's not Pshat that we're going to say that it wasn't, it didn't express itself in bad. We will still say on after that it was anger. The Mai will see that it was good. But then there's another Sikha, the Rebbe said, so we don't understand, yeah. The Rebbe says that there's another sikha. I saw the Rebbe went on a whole long thing about people asking him about the Holocaust, how could the Holocaust happen? And the Rebbe speaks how questioning the ways of the Abish, in other words, like Avram, he also tied to the Abish there. How could he do an injustice by, 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 by destroying Stam? The Rebbe said that when the Abish told him to take Avram to the, to the Akeda, he rushed, he did a besimch. In other words, a person has a question, doesn't it have to affect this thing? So the Rebbe says the Fidik Rebbe Befedish didn't want that we should justify the Holocaust. He didn't want, he wanted that we should mourn the Gula. You should mourn by the Abish. And the Rebbe says, why? Because the Abish wants that. It's like Tefillah. Person says, why am I doubting for something? The Abish wants it should be bad, it's bad. If he doesn't, if he wants it should be good, he'll make it good himself. But the Abish wants you to show that you, he wants to see that you want it. So the Rebbe says that now we don't understand, you know, I don't know if the Rebbe says it clear, I guess I think it's similar to Yishan Rabbi, but right now we don't understand why Golas is good, and we have to daven for it. But it doesn't mean that, you know, that when Mashiach will come, then, then the Rebbe uses a sikh, he said, the Rebbe will, will ask the Eden Mechil, the Chippur Ad Masar Amid, that we may call the Rebbe will realize that it was good. There's one interesting Hira that I saw, this is, this is in the early years, you basically give me the dollar. The Rebbe was speaking about the Nigan Yajuritza Chlaps. I'll finish off with this. And the Rebbe said, the song of the Nigan, the middle Rebbe said, them saying, is that, you know, we'll get to the Kretschm and then it will be good. Yeah? So he says, when Mashiach will come, then there will be Oyd Hashem Kanafi. But even now, the Rebbe says, we could, by even knowing that the Etzem, everything the Ebesha does is good. And Oyd whenever something neg- negative, of course you have to dive and the Rebbe wasn't justifying Golas. When something personal happens, negative to a person, you should Oyd Hashem, you should accept that it's Chesed. That's Memaher, the, 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 this is the Hachana, so to say, for the Oyd Hashem, cannot be when Mashiach will come. That then will actually, when a person realizes that Ebesha, like that Rebbe writes in Tanya, a person realizes that the Emes is, is Chesed and Amuchus, and that itself, Makes that it should come revealed. So by now in Golas, we talk, I can't understand. And with the Rebbe, we shouldn't justify Golas. When things happen, we, we should we should accept. It's how you do You don't understand. And I think it is we should uh, have a good amid the Sashlami take of me at Mamish.